If you're like most content managers, you're probably getting hounded every day with requests to develop new content assets from all sorts of people around your company. Maybe you feel like this. Now here's my question to you. How do you manage all those requests? Today, I'd like to show you how you can formalize your entire content request intake process with a new tool that we've recently launched. Sound interesting? Let's go. Content managers already have a ton on their plates these days, and it can get even more overwhelming when requests for new assets are filling up your inbox. And then you have to review all those requests, and there's an inevitable back and forth with the requester to make sure you've got enough details to properly evaluate the request. And God forbid, one of those requests, like from a high-level executive, gets lost in the cracks of your inbox. You need a more formalized process, one that centralizes all requests, gives you the tools you need to evaluate them, and then a simple way to turn those requests into content projects that you can easily get on your content schedule. Today, I'd like to walk you through Divi's content request tool that does all of that and more. Let's kick things off by heading over to the content requests admin, which is where you start this entire process. Quick note that this is an enterprise only feature, so enterprise administrators can click their name in the top right and select content request admin. Okay, let me give you a lay of the land here. This interface has all the tools you need to set up new content request forms and manage your existing forms. To keep this video short, I won't walk through the five step form building process, but it allows you to create branded forms with instructions and all the fields you might want to include. Once your form is created and ready to share, you can click the edit icon if you need to adjust the form's fields in the future. You can view the form, you can copy the URL and share it with anyone you choose, and you can also go directly to the list of requests that have been submitted. Let's go ahead and view this blog article requests form as an example. As you can see, the form can be branded and I have a variety of fields that should give me all the details I need to evaluate this request. So when requesters go to this URL, they can submit their requests and you'll immediately be notified via email. Let's do a quick test so I can show you what happens next. Success! Now that we've submitted a test request, let's head over to the content request moderation area, which is located within Divi's ideas interface. Okay, in the top left, right next to the parking lot, enterprise customers will now see a content request tab, which will display all requests that have been submitted. New requests are displayed in bold at the top, kind of like your email inbox. To review a request, much like other Divi interfaces, you can single click a request to open a quick preview, or you can double click or click the view details link to go to the full detail view of the request. As you can see, the detail view shows you all the data that was submitted, including attachments that may have been uploaded and the activity that has happened with this request. Now, what happens here is gonna be up to you. As you can see here, we have a basic workflow built into the tool. You can update the status and decide on whether to approve or deny a request. When you change the status, notifications can be sent to the person who submitted the request to keep them informed. I'll go ahead and mark this request as approved and provide a quick note for the requester. Once you've reviewed and approved a request, the last step in the process is to convert the request into a content item. The cool thing about this process is that all the original request data and any attachments will be stored within the new content item. Let's go ahead and get this request on our blog schedule. Now when I view this new content item, Notice that there's a brief tab available in the sandbox. In addition, if I'm using Divi's content editor, I can also reference the brief tab and get a look at the original data that was provided in the request. So as you can see, Divi's new content request tool is very robust and you can use it to formalize your entire request intake process. We hope you found this video helpful and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. For more walkthrough videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy divvying!